Hello, Ruby Ravel here, ready to unravel the stars with you once again. Now, Jupiter stationed direct after having been retrograde today, and I thought that would make for a good opportunity to explore the Jupiter cycle in general and what I have observed about it. Now, just to begin with a general outline of what Jupiter means as a planet astrologically, you know, Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system and as such represents our desire for more, for life to be bigger, for growth, for enlargement, for expansion, for exploration and for adventure. Jupiter is the part of us that wants to become more of ourselves, that wants our lives to matter, to be meaningful, to be purposeful, to be adventurous, to be fun. He's not concerned just with the rigmarole and the dry routines of base survival he, he wants more he wants our lives to be epic to be a drama to be a heroic quest that we can look back on and say i have lived heroically i have given much of myself and i have received much in return there's there's a sense of benevolent outpouring and benevolent reception with jupiter um and as such, he's connected with our desire for wisdom, for experience, for mystical and religious meaning. He's the part of us that takes risks, that is willing to gamble, to do the thing that is perhaps unsafe and uncertain, but which, if it works, pays off. So generally when Jupiter is on our side, when we're having those Jupiterian feelings, we feel emboldened, we feel empowered, we're willing to take risks and do things we might not ordinarily do and just generally make ourselves available to lady luck and whatever opportunities she might bring our way. Now, when Jupiter stations retrograde, which he did at the end of July this year, retrogrades usually begin with the principle of the planet going retrograde um, becoming too exaggerated. And when you have a planet like Jupiter that is already exaggerated, that can actually begin with a period where we are perhaps overbold, where we take too many risks, where we feel ourselves to be this empowered god or goddess who can do nothing wrong, who is always right, and whatever we do, we'll always have that King Midas touch, and everything will turn out all right, and everything will turn into gold, and we don't need to worry about the details too much because, you know, the big guy is on our side. And when Jupiter turns retrograde, often we kind of end up feeling like we've been punished for hubris, that we've gone too far, we've been, we've gone, we've been too arrogant, we've taken too many risks and ended up falling flat on our face. And in the months where Jupiter is retrograde, we have that feeling of perhaps beginning to doubt ourselves, beginning to doubt the things we've invested in, the things we've aspired towards. Retrogrades always force us to introvert the principle of the planet going retrograde. And, and that means really looking at what we invest our faith, faith in and, and where we derive our confidence and kind of seeing if it's valid. It's a period in which we have to focus on inner growth and personal growth rather than projecting it out onto the world, which we're more likely to do during the direct phase. And the good news is, is that now that Jupiter is going direct, if if you've had lots of misfortune over the last few months, if there have been things you've invested in, in which have been obstructed or stonewalled in some way, and you've just been forced into that state of, of withdrawal, um, this week you may begin to feel things opening up again, to feel like once again, after that long period of contemplation, you are ready to go back on your mythic quest again. If the hero has had that long time of being hidden in the cave or being trapped on Calypso's island, suddenly the boat has arrived and we can set sail again. So hopefully for all of us, this should be a time of renewed motion, renewed growth, renewed expansion, and again, feeling that faith in ourselves to make decisions that are based on our actual personal growth rather than just doing what is safe and certain. Anyway, 
If you have anything else you'd like me to talk about, please send me a message or leave a request in the comments. And I am, as ever, Ruby Ravel, ready to unravel the stars with you.